ever wanted to make your Windows 11 into your very own OS and just stick around if you want to see how you can do it yourself or if you want to see the final result. Hi friends, today I'm here with another tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make your Windows 11 look and feel like your very own OS. Yes, we're gonna make Windows 11 very unique to, so people won't even recognize if it's Windows 11 or not. So, without any further ado, let's go. So, first of all we want to create our store point in case our system breaks somehow, don't know how, but I don't know. So, choose your drive, click on configure. We're going to turn on system protection and give it some size. I'm going to give it about 7 gigabytes to work. And okay. Now click on create. And now we want to give the restore point a name. For example, I'm going to call it Windows 11 without customization. If I can spell everything correctly. And now this is going to create the restore point for us. Once this was created, click on close and click on OK. And now these are the files that I'm going to use for today. I'm going to use open shell for the start menu and start buttons. So I have my start button that I created in a previous video. I'll put it up in the cards if you want to make your own start button. S start I may not use start 11 for today, but you can use it for the start menu and professional start button replacer if you want. I I get I am found myself a wallpaper that I like. You can get any of those. I'm gonna use one arrow tweaker and window blinds 11 so let's begin with one arrow tweaker shall we I'm going to extract the contents of the zip file I'm going to run the setup click yes to user account control now click on next I'm going to go with portable mode just to extract the files and to accept the license terms and now I'm going to browse where I want to f extract my well, you know yes I'm going to extract it to my desktop and click on extract files or install I'm going to open up the f the folder and run win arrow the win arrow tweaker executable Agree to the license terms. Agree to user account control. So now we have a lot of stuff here. So, for example, we can get, for example, a custom size, custom accents, we can get behavior. So, this is a pretty Cool theme to enable an arrow light theme. Which kind of makes, you know, like these like gigantic buttons, which looks kind of cool. Looks pretty cool, but I don't really want to use this. So we have a ton of options. You can enable the Windows 10 X boot animation if you're on Windows 10, but the Windows but Windows 11 22H2 just has the Windows 10 X boot animation. We really have a lot of stuff in here, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here. So now I'm going to install Window Blinds 11 to get the theme applied. I'm not gonna use this theme, this was just for demonstration. Click 
public. He has to the user account control. Now, agree to the license terms. Click next. Yes, it requested to, you know, to read them carefully. So now we have an awful lot of teams. So I'm going to leave all of them for now because I don't know which one I will want to apply. Because you never know what what team would you want. So this might take some time depending on the hardware and how many teams you want to install. So. Now I'm just going to wait for this thing to install and I'll be back when this thing is installed and activated. Alright everybody, that took a while, now I'm going to start a 30 day trial and I'm going to go to 10 minute mail in order to not, I don't want to sign up with my own account. Now let's just complete the temporary email. Let's activate the 3D trial and done. Now click on finish. You can enter a product key or purchase one if you want. I might purchase um, Start 11 and Window Blinds 11 in the future. But for now I'm just going to do this for these videos. So we have a lot of teams here. So we have the Windows Classic theme, the Capitan. This is more like Mac OS which is pretty cool have Windows 8, the one that we used in Windows 8 Consumer Preview, we've got Win8 Metro, have Precision, we got Modern, we have Mac Classic, so have a Ice Team, we have a Lantana Team, we've got the Luna Team, remember that video, we got the Eva Team, Echo Team, Diamond, the default one that we have right now, Acrylic 7 and Corporate, so this is going to be my preference I'm gonna choose a diamond theme because I kind of like that style I kind of like it if you want you can just download more themes other themes or just choose other this is gonna be your choice okay that looks a lot like Windows 7 and it's pretty freaking cool I'm going to close window blinds now I look the taskbar that looks kind of like a Windows 12 like taskbar with rounded corners. Now I'm gonna go to taskbar settings and move the taskbar to the left and we have a start button that we don't really want so that's what I'm gonna replace with my start button using open shell so I'm going to install it real quick click on next agree to license terms and it says please read the following license agreement carefully okay but I forgot I'm going to disable classic explorer and classic IE I'm going to click on next and install hit yes to the user account control now I'm going to open up okay there we go so so in order to do this, so I'm going to do this real quick to show you how you can just in order to change the start button. So 
we can choose the start menu so my start menu for example I'm gonna choose the metro one why not combine Windows 7 and Windows 8 and I'm going to replace the start button and replace with my start button we do pick image start button and there we go and we have a metro start menu which is pretty cool one thing that I'm also gonna do while I'm here is go to personalize and change the accent color a bit so the start menu can fit in what we do at the moment so let's see a color that fits this style I think this one does fit a bit or maybe this one I'm gonna choose this one for now and the last thing that I'm gonna do is get a wallpaper I'm gonna set this as my desktop background and now that looks kinda cool am I right? we have like a custom theme applied custom store button and start menu and the wallpaper which I think looks pretty freaking cool and sick am I right and yeah that was all for today's video if this helped you it makes you have liked this video subscribe watch these two next videos I'm going to put up on the screen turn on the notifications and I'll see you all in the next video bye bye